I've been thinking about a word. Word may be out of fashion, I don't know. But the word is enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Like you, you gotta have a little enthusiasm or like I say, that flow of the fountain of life just starts to diminish. I guess the reason I'm thinking about it is because on two occasions within the last little while, I, I had someone say to me, you're so enthusiastic. <laughs> you're so enthusiastic. Um, I feel like saying, and you're not? And you're not? Like if you're not enthusiastic about life and the opportunities of life, if you're not willing to live into the ecstasy and know the ecstasy of life, then what's happening? Well, it just, it goes into whatever you want to call it, complaint, just a feeling of uh, maybe not literal psychological depression, but still a feeling depressed, feeling down, feeling worried, feeling anxious, getting angry. I'd much rather be in the enthusiasm of the fountain of life. I looked it up. You may know that it's from the Greek. And it's, it's, it's got a Greek origin. And the, and the origin is simple. En theos. En theos. En simply means in. And theos means, that. well, that's the Greek word for God. And so it's, it has to do with being in God. And my etymology source says, uh, uh, talks about being inspired or possessed by a God, be wrapped, be in ecstasy, divinely inspired, possessed. Fervor, zeal, entheos, entheos. Well, when we find ourselves in the current of life, we find that that current is uplifting and gratitude and praise for the source of where it comes. To God by whatever name. And we find ourselves in, in that reality and we find that reality coming into us. Coming into us. And when it comes into us, that's when there is enthusiasm. That's when we have the power of life, the power of the fountain that's moving in us, in our life, in our body. We have the zeal to carry forward. Nothing gets created without zeal and enthusiasm. Is that not true? Highly ele elevated <laughs> levels of ecstasy in expression sustained over time.